Hello, welcome back to Banda Sushi Live. Today I'm revisiting this Wolf 3D full body digital avatar creations and this is actually based on my own face. So it's not like meta humans realistic character yet. Um, this is pretty amazing but for now I'm pretty happy with my stylistic character. So this is a full body real player dot me avatar. Um, I downloaded this character. It's already have full body, but I'm also using it with face it in Blender. So for digital character, especially animators using Blender, I think this is one of the best uh, to do a quick human facial rigging. Okay, so this character is actually already rigged. I just need to connect it to my iPhone, I think. Okay, now it's it's moving and I believe I'm controlling the rotations except that my okay I have a few parts of this character that's not connected properly maybe I need to bind it to the bones but let's don't worry about that for now so the character if you connect it properly on the iPhone then you have like a talking character I think the character doesn't have a full facial performance but in general, for talking character, especially maybe for things like FaceTime or yeah, I think this character is pretty good. The head rotation is currently controlled by me. So this is how it looks like. So the character can be animated manually. Oh, by the way, this character doesn't have a full body rig. So for the body, I normally just use Mixamo for a character like this. Um, but you can also animate it manually. Alright. So, yeah. Um, let's try to rig this character from scratch. Okay. So this is the character by default. It should actually have all these blend shapes that you want to get rid of. Um, let me save this very quickly. I want to show you the process. So face it add-on. So this is a paid add-on. Um, I purchased it early so I get half price. But it's, it's really good. Uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna show you the process anyway. So this is the character with all the head, eye, eyeballs, etc. I will just gonna combine them. Okay, there's also teeth. We'll combine them. Into a single object. Okay, so that's I think the first step. And then this is face it add-on I already installed. I'm just gonna register the face object. So face including the head. Um, you can check geometry and show the warnings. I don't worry about that too much for now. I will assign the left, right, eyeball, upper teeth, lower teeth, and tongue. So I go to edit mode. I select this part and just tap H to hide it. There are a couple of other mesh. Anyway, I will select the left eyeball. Command L. Assign it there. So it's going to create a group for rigging. And then left teeth, upper, upper teeth, lower teeth. And there's this tongue and okay, I think this is including the upper teeth, and this should go with the lower teeth as well. And this is the tongue. There's this area. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's part of the ear. Anyway, I will just 
we feel the hidden part back to this object mode I'm just gonna go to rig generate landmark so this is the character I will place the eyes and the lips as close as possible and scale okay this is pretty good and I'm gonna start to adjust the position of this point so this is the process of facial rigging manual manual facial rigging um, most of the process is automated and I think this is really good really really good way to rig face project a landmark we can adjust this position and I'm just gonna roughly doing it put this a little bit inside to the lips this is gonna be the placement for the bones if you are working in in a studio for a character I mean for human character this um, process of reading face is pretty pretty fun it's pretty easy this part and then generate rig and animation hopefully it does the job okay we have controllers <clears throat> this is cool actually at this point you can start animating the character you can even export it out without the blend shapes and it's gonna work for augmented reality I'm just gonna save this really quickly at this point I want to keep this maybe I want to animate this manually I haven't bind this character so I will bind bind the character now the character is animating you can see it blinks and etc it's doing all the shapes bind secondary you can add a corrective bind shape oops just gonna save it again to different version before I create blend shapes so at this point we can turn on texture we can go to animate we can animate uh, different parts manually I'm pretty happy with this bake as AR shape keys this is for <clears throat> iPhone AR kit we can generate test action <coughs> mocap I will use face cap and set up the face cap OSC I think everything seems to be working I already have OSC set up hopefully with my what I'm doing here it's it should work So I, I just I just connected myself. Yeah, I think everything seems to be working except for the the teeth area and then this part. I think I might have made a mistake there with the inside of the mouth. But yeah, the character is working. I can do the blink. Okay, the blinks need clean up there with the blend shapes. But other than that, the character is ready, and I can, at this point, because this is just a single, uh, single mesh, I can just select this bone and then parent it with automatic weight. And if I want to connect um, my head rotation from face it uh, from from the iPhone, I can do that easily. So this is the head. Oh, once again. Yeah, somehow the upper and lower teeth is not connected properly, and this the pupil as well. So for a talking character, if the if I just make like the the clothing, if I just pose this character like sitting down on the table like a reporter, news reporter, or if you want to do like a formal presentations, your character 
normally we would be just sitting down maybe the arms doing a little bit of motions but other than it it's a uh, most of the time your character will be pretty much static in a certain pose and then you can do a talking and then you record the animations and then maybe export it out as AR okay so that's a uh, basically the process with face it it's really good um, add-on I, I really think it's a really good investment for now if you are doing like a manual character animations let me show you another thing so stop that so this is the character you know the the alien monk characters by blender pirate I bought it in the past I think the model and all the rig is all um, original okay it seems to be frozen okay that's working this character is using face it add-on as well and this is the part where you have already like a character face or head already been rigged and you have this bone controller so this controller is a blender bones and you can you can add a frame so currently I'm in the pose mode so I already can animate this character uh, yeah I can make it looking that way and then keyframe the location rotations I believe I can also scale normally yeah I think this is quite funny maybe I just keyframe it with location rotation and scale at this point I can make it like, like this it's kind of cute location rotation and scale and then go back to normal so um, all this controller is is a post bone and you can animate it with symmetry on so with the symmetry on left and right will be doing the same thing sometimes you want it to be off and then you want to turn off turn off this magnet so now you animate the character and pose it so your character can can be animated uh, manually I, some animators actually prefer this rather than using something like uh, face cap or motion capture although for for a character to do talking um, you probably prefer to do it with motion capture but to do like a expression this manual bone control is a lot more fun to do so this is actually yeah this is what you get from face it add on the bone facial rig is quite flexible probably not perfect but it's medium um, in terms of facial character this is pretty good so this is character showing a little bit of disgust Select all keyframe location rotation and scale. Like I said, this is this is all manual. The cool thing about this is we can export it out as GLB, and I believe everything should work. My texture might be 
लगे Okay, Blender is still exporting. So yeah, the process is usually I if I animate manually. Okay, I export it out as GLB. Once it is a GLB, it's good. You can test it out. Try to convert it to AR USDZ object, and then it becomes your character. With the this guy doesn't have body because I separate it at some point. But with the character like a uh, wolf tree, um, face it, you have the full body. I'm still trying to convert this. But anyway, you got the, the idea. So this is manual. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, you, you got some information there if you ever want to create your own 3D avatar it's not as realistic or as automatic as this metahuman however I think metahuman is like a different level completely this really um, take copy of your char of, of characters I don't know how much you can customize this character to be but I personally prefer stylistic character like this whoops okay <laughs> it's actually seems to be using the the default animations and the texture is a bit fun anyhow I think we are done so for me stylistic character has has a lot a lot more like wide range of diversity than just realistic character because if you're using realistic character like this, you will be limited in terms of what you can show to other people. I mean, not limited in terms of like, this is more fun. This one is more realistic and with such realism, you want to be more responsible with what you're doing. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.